Welcome to Social Elo Ministries, where we are committed to glorifying God while exposing the devil. There are times when I hear Christians speaking about the Lord's timing being perfect. And I often wonder if they truly realize the implications of that. A lot of times when people say that, it implies that the Lord is going to prevent things from happening. Almost like at the last moment, in a sense, he's going to open a Red Sea and prevent disaster. But things will always go like that. And for a lot of people who like to say that God's timing is perfect, I'm not here to dispute that. I'm here to speak about you. Are you, are you truly prepared for God's perfect timing? Because God's perfect timing is about His will and not necessarily the desires of your heart. Will you still love the Lord? Will you still praise the Lord if He allows the thing that you desire to die? And sometimes he's close by. Well, he's always close by, but he's in a position where he can make things happen, but he doesn't. Because a part of his will is for what you desire to die. And I say that and may sound very serious, and it is. When we look at John 11, it talks about Lazarus, someone who Jesus loved. Jesus was in Jerusalem. Lazarus was in Bethany. And in John 11, let's see here, verse 18, it states, Now Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about 15 furlongs off. So 15 furlongs, 8 furlongs equal, equals 1 mile. So Jesus was about 2 miles away from Lazarus when Lazarus was sick. 2 miles. So we're looking at a 30 to a 45 minute walk, give or take. And the Bible doesn't say that there was anything impeding or preventing Jesus from going to Lazarus while he was sick. In fact, Jesus did not show up in Bethany until four days after Lazarus' death. One of the things that they said when Jesus showed up was that Lazarus had been dead for so long that his body started stinking at that point in time. So will you still think that Lord's Timing is perfect when your hopes and dreams are dead and has started to rot and started to stink. Like I mentioned, Jesus loved Lazarus, but he allowed him to die. And that is sometimes, or something that you may have to brace yourself for at times, when the Lord may be in a position to stop something from happening, but he doesn't. Are you still going to love him? Are you still going to praise him? Are you still going to glorify him? Yes, his timing is perfect, but not in a way that human timing is perfect. And in John eleven four, when Jesus heard that Lazarus, when Jesus heard that, he said, "This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby." So he allowed Lazarus to die so that God would be glorified. And a lot of times, from a human perspective, we want the Lord to stop things from happening, but by Him allowing us to go through certain things, Romans 8.28, it becomes for our good, but for God's glory. God's timing is perfect. Yes, indeed. But it is not always in a way that most people, or a lot of people, may make it sound. And there are times you may be going through things and you may wonder if the Lord doesn't love you because you're going through those things. But don't equate suffering with the Lord's love for you because there are times when He allows us to go through the furnace of affliction and that is to refine us. And like I said, Jesus loved Lazarus. But a part of Lazarus' death was to show that Jesus was the way and the resurrection. So sometimes the Lord will allow the things that you want, your hopes and dreams, to die. In some cases, it's because He plans on resurrecting those things. In other cases, He will allow those things to die, and you will have to say goodbye to those things. Yet, whichever way it is, Come out saying that yes indeed God's timing is perfect and whether or not his will was what I wanted 
was that I accept his will for my life and I will glorify his name. God bless you.